I feel like we're taking a peek behind the magic curtain. That's exactly how I feel. I, I was going to say that. Get out of my brain. Because when you come to Hammond's yeah. Field and you watch a game mm -hmm. and everything, the sense, memory, feelings, yes. the music, the sound, the scoreboard, mm -hmm. it's Kent Shelton. <laughs> He's in charge. He's the wizard. You are the wizard. There's only one wizard in St. Louis baseball, and that's Ozzy Smith. So I can't take <laughs> okay. that. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, Kent, tell us, we're up here high above the field, and yeah. this is where all the magic happens. A, a lot of the magic, yeah. It's kind of organized chaos in this room. So tell us, what do you do up here? So um, my official title is Manager of Production and Promotions, which is kind of threefold, ballpark entertainment, uh, live production and then our creative services. So all the content that you're seeing on the video board, we produce a majority of that in-house. And so my team and I, and I've got a full crew that's in here. There's usually about seven or eight people in this room every game. And then sometimes even more than that if we're on TV. So I would like to see that, the behind the scene uh, thing happening with a game. That would be yeah. so interesting to me. Now, do you decide if you need to see an instant replay or who, who makes that decision? So we have a, a, a person who's running instant replay here. And then we also have our director. And the two of them are kind of in in conversation throughout the game uh, a lot of it is do we have the shot so you know we've got we've got multiple camera operators around the ballpark and if we've got a good shot of it if it's a play that's worthy of, a, of an instant replay then then we'll make that call so where does uh, that come up then where would you know if you need instant replay just on okay. that computer so this right here is our instant replay system and so there's four cameras or four input sources that are always recording and the second a play happens they're able to just roll the wheel back and get that play instantaneous and replay it from up to two different angles. So um, it takes a person getting pretty familiar with this system to be able to do that quickly. But uh, but yeah, that's that's how it works. I would say that anybody that's doing anything mm -hmm. in this room has got to know what they're doing and be quick quickly. about it. And be quick about <laughs> be it. Be quick about Things it. Things are happening fast out there. And then the once field. they look at it here, who, yeah. who can see the instant yeah. replay? Where do you so put it? So our director over here then has the ability to take what they're playing out of the instant replay system. So they've got two different angles that they can see that's coming off of this. Um, and so a lot of times what will happen is let's say we have a base hit. So you'll, you'll start with the look of over the pitcher's shoulder going into the batter. Right. You see that look and as soon as they make contact she'll switch or he'll switch to the other look that shows the ball actually being put in play because we've got to have a couple different camera angles to actually see everything that's going on. Wow. It's so that's interesting. So I like all this. What, like this looks like a a, a, a top secret type. If I hit this button, it's gonna, everything's gonna explode. <laughs> right. Don't, like, right. don't touch the button. Yeah. No. It, it can be a little intimidating. There's a there's a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. So is this control up here? What is this monitor up here? Yeah. So what you've got here is this is our multi view. So what you're seeing is all of our different input sources. You've got preview and program. So along this row is all preview. This row is all program. So if I wanted to put one of my input uh, my replay channels in preview, I could just hit the the corresponding button here, and that way they can see it before they take it. Live live and then they're able to actually bring it live. Can, you know. can you please let me touch a button? I want to push one so bad. Okay. What one can I push? Which one can um, I push? Let's see. Uh, I Is will have good? you, let's go ahead and just push this one right, here. right here. Yeah, and that brings okay. our that brings our high home camera okay. live. So. Okay. I feel better now. Because yeah. if you tell a kid I not mean, to push a button, I wouldn't right. push a button. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, get it. I understand that. Yeah. How long have you done this, Ken? I started in, well, full-time 2011, the fall of 2011. So the Cardinals had just won the World Series, and then I started here. So it was a pretty good fall for me. So you're a big baseball fan. I do. I am a big fan. You yeah. love your job then? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's a job. Everybody yeah. has has good days and bad days, but I have a lot of a lot of good days. Here. And yeah, you know, Kelly funny. and I are really into music. And part we of are. the thing of the game is yes. you hear the sounds of the game. Mm -hmm. I really would like to know how that works and how okay. that happens. Well, we can walk over there if yeah, you want to. Or yeah. okay. So we use uh, a couple different things. So. When people come in uh, to the stadium when gates first open, a lot of times we're just playing a playlist. And we'll, honestly, we'll right. play that off of Spotify. Um, but then we use a system that's called ClickFX Pro Audio, okay. which is really set up um, to be uh, a quick access to, I think we've got around 15,000 songs. Here, why don't you have, a, can you have yeah. a seat here? Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. And we're going to stand over here and we can look at this okay. thing. So um, this is our main audio computer. The person who operates this, actually, most of the time is actually our PA announcer as well. And that's not something I would recommend, but he's a guy who's just done it long enough that he can do both. Uh, so there's a corresponding channel here on the mixer. He'll bring that up so that you can hear it in the stadium. And then he'll find whatever's appropriate. So let's say we had um, a strikeout. So a lot of times you'll hear the cash register sound. Oh. 
Wow. Um, and so he just, he has set this all up to where he can access things quickly and knows right where to, uh, to go to find things. So he's got it organized. Yes. So he's got offense, defense, claps, organ, you know, all of these things. And then we've got just music that's organized by decade. So, you know, a lot of 80s music that you'll hear in the uh -huh. ballpark, a lot of modern music that you'll hear. Can you play um, just a few little things, sound effects for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I think probably the, the more common and favorites in the room are the things that happen when a foul ball goes out of the stadium. I thought so, about that too. Yeah. I was like, what's that going to sound like? <laughs> so, so a lot of times, let's say uh, a ball goes out of the out of the stadium. Well, there's a street right by here, so he'll he'll start with the, the crash and maybe uh, maybe it hits Tarzan. <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we kind of try and entertain ourselves up here a little yeah. bit because if we're having fun, maybe people in the stadium are having fun too. Do you have a wah, wah, wah. Oh, I love that uh, one, Debbie I Downer. You know, I, I knew that you would ask that and unfortunately... But it's hard. I, Do you see how many yeah. things he has on here? There's right. so many things uh, there. There is a, there's a sad trombone on here somewhere, but... Do that's right. I would need to get How about, can you wait, give wait, us... Wait. Oh, wait. Look at that. Yes. Yes. That's what I was saying. <laughs> now to take us out, Kent. Do you mind giving us the the charge that we know and we love? Yes. Yes. I, I have Give to hear it every here. game. Yeah. Okay. Here okay. you go. Charge! Thank you so much, Thank Kent. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much. I I just want to be hitting buttons all you the time. You know what? That. He's done that a while, and he's so good at that. And all the people up there in the media room, uh, they got to be ready. They got to be ready right now. Because to me, the, the the one that has to be the quickest is that guy. Because let's say it's a, a foul ball, and he has to play. Wah, 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 which is I mean, like <laughs> you have to be like, oh, the, brr, how do you know? I know. And if it's close, they got to do that instant replay so that they can find out. You know what? So There's quick. a lot that goes on here. I mean, that's all behind the scenes. Of course, you hear it, and but there's a lot going up in there. No, there is, and you never think about it because you're just so used to seeing how it looks like, for instance, on TV or mm -hmm. at the ballpark because you're like, well, that's what you expect. But somebody's actually doing that and has to think. And sometimes I remember being in the car listening to like the radio yeah. version of it, and you hear mm -hmm. the play-by-play. The I'm like, man, you have to be on that. You do. And what you said when you opened the segment was exactly what I was thinking. The man behind the curtain, the Oz behind the curtain that's pulling all the buttons and right. pulling all the strings. So, Kelly, what if I give a play-by-play -play of what you're doing right now? I'm going to practice. Ready? So, okay. Kelly's standing right there. She's walking. She's looking at the camera. And now she's taking it up. She has her stance correct. The pitcher is getting ready to pitch. And he pitches and she swings. And it's a home run. <laughs> Sweet. And that's what we're talking next. We'll be back with the sweets. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> good job. Sweet. You could do that. I don't know if that was good or not. That was good. I was trying. I don't know the lingo.